Next, we'll learn about process order in SAP production planning. The topics that we'll be covering, they are process order overview, master data required for process orders, step-by-step -step instruction for complete cycle for a process order. Now, previously, uh, we have learned about um, production orders. So basically, there are uh, three types of orders. So one is the production order that we have seen earlier. Now, in this class, we'll talk about the process order. And in the later class, we'll talk about the re repetitive manufacturing. So let us start with the process order in this class. So let us start with the business example. You are an employee in a company that produces food products and alcoholic beverages. You are a member of the SAP project team and responsible for implementing the functions of order control production with process order. Process order. So process order is basically uh, used in these types of industries, for example, chemical industry, uh, pharmaceutical industry and food manufacturing industry. So these are the most commonly types of industry that will be using the process order instead of production order. So with the process order again you have different types. You can create a, a production by customer request. You can do a make to order production. You can also do a batch production. We'll talk about batch production later on. And you can do mass production and campaigns and all that. 